as you walk the road of this life. Never forget that the journey of 100,000 paces begins with a flat tyre and a broken fan belt. <laughs> Remember that if the brakes can't be repaired, you can always make the horn louder. <laughs> and sometimes on a sunny day, let the dog drive and you stick your head out of the window. <laughs> Never suffer from insanity. Enjoy it. And never criticise your fellow man until you've walked a mile in his shoes. Then if he doesn't like it, you're a mile away and you've got his shoes. <laughs> when in a general store, never ask for anything in particular. And never criticise the post office. One day they may find out where you live. <laughs> learn that we never learn from the mistakes of others. Try to make them all yourself. <laughs> Remember that all experience is gained just after you need it. Recognise a mistake when you make it again. <laughs> it is a rare man who never makes the same mistake once. <laughs> and know that you will never ever forget that which you never really needed to know. <laughs> be sure that one day the world will beat a path to your door. You'll be in the bath. And never keep small, breakable items in the hallway. One day your ship will come in. <laughs> Bear in mind that double negatives are a complete no-no. <laughs> From time to time you'll be told there's no such thing as a double positive. Yeah, right. <laughs> Essential oils are not really necessary. <laughs> War was God's way of teaching geography to George W. Bush. It is possible to play a harmonica by driving really fast and holding it out of the window. <laughs> and remember that although the early bird gets the worm, the second mouse gets the cheese. Behind every successful man is a surprised woman. <laughs> and one day you'll learn the value of time. If time did not exist, everything would happen at once. And one day you'll look around and think to yourself, this is the place to be. It's not, it's the verb to be. <laughs> and with the coming of old age, remember that if God had wanted you to touch your toes, he would have put them on your knees. If God had wanted me to eat muesli, he would have made it smell like bacon. <laughs> and 
at the coming of old age. You will know all the answers, but nobody will ask you the questions anymore. <laughs> and with the coming of old age, you will one day find a suppository in your ear. <laughs> at that moment, you'll realize where your hearing aid is. Finally, as you lie alone on your bed and stare in wonder at the countless millions of stars shining in the night sky, you realise that only one question really matters. Where's the ceiling? <laughs> Thanks, get out. <laughs>